This week we're comparing two encryption programs for Windows. This episode of Tech Shop is brought to you by Dyn and GoToMeeting. Welcome to episode 55 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. This week, we're going to look at two programs that you can use to fully encrypt your Windows hard drive. Now, one of them is one that we've talked about quite a bit, and that's TrueCrypt. If you're new here or to encryption, TrueCrypt is a free open source software program that has been around for a while and is widely used to protect hard drives. Well, the other program that is not as widely talked about is CompuSec from CE Infosys. It also happens to be the first full hard drive encryption program that I've ever used. Both programs offer high-grade encryption for your laptop or desktop, which is nice, but CompuSec is different from TrueCrypt in two areas. For one, CompuSec requires two pieces of information to log into a computer that's protected by it. You need both a username and a password to log into your computer with CompuSec. TrueCrypt only requires a password to decrypt the hard drive if you use the default options. You can, however, improve security by requiring a key file to decrypt your drive. The second way they differ is in performance, particularly with boot time. We currently use TrueCrypt at my company to protect data in the event a laptop is stolen. I mean, we don't want anything to happen to us like what happened to NASA last year, where a laptop that contained data on 10,000 users was stolen out of a car. The big complaint I hear every so often from my users is that with TrueCrypt, it takes forever to reboot their computers or it takes a long time to boot it up in the morning if they shut it down the night before. Since I've used CompuSec in the past, I wanted to see if their software would offer any improvements in boot time. So I did a side-by-side -side comparison of boot times using two identical computers and filmed it using my Galaxy S3 camera phone. And I will show you the results of my test right after this quick break from our sponsors. You want faster internet, right? You want your websites to load quicker and you want to make sure that if your DNS provider goes down, that you have a secondary route to your website. That's where Dyn.com comes in. With outsourced DNS, you can make sure people can get to your website at all times. With managed DNS, you can even connect items like your webcams or DVR to a private channel that you can pull from at any time. Most important, Dyn is in the middle of a switch to IPv6. Dyn is ahead of that game and it has complete support for IPv6. It's simple. Get faster internet by using Dyn for DNS. Simply visit dyn.com slash podcast30 and fill out the contact form. Or start shopping right away and save 30% by using the promo code podcast30 at checkout. Once again, visit dyn.com slash podcast30. I believe successful teamwork is the foundation for successful business. And when you meet face-to-face, -face, you work more efficiently. But with clients and coworkers spread out across the globe and on the go, coming together can be impossible. That's why I use GoToMeeting with HD Faces, the powerful and simple way to meet and collaborate online from wherever you are, whenever you need to connect. With GoToMeeting, it just takes a click to share your screen and work on the documents in real time. And with webcam, you can see everyone in HD video. It's just like meeting in person. It's so easy to launch or join a meeting from anywhere using your computer, phone, or tablet. Heck, you can even present from your iPad. At my company, we use GoToMeeting all the time. And you should be using it too. Try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Don't wait for the special offer. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PODCAST. Be sure to use the promo code PODCAST so they know that Tech Chop sent you. GoToMeeting. Meeting is believing. In the first part of the show, I said that I did a side-by-side -side comparison of a laptop encrypted using TrueCrypt and a laptop encrypted using CompuSec. Both laptops are Lenovo ThinkPad T530s with Intel i7 processors and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Both laptops are also running Windows 7. So place your bets now on who will win, because here are the results.
As you can see, CompuSec was the clear winner. It booted up around four minutes faster than TrueCrypt. Just so you know, we trimmed that down for time constraints. However, you can watch the full length video at the link below to see just how ridiculously slow the boot up time was with TrueCrypt. That's all we have this week. If you have any questions or comments, sound off below or hit us up on our Facebook page. Remember, we have new videos every week. So be sure to like, fave, subscribe, and we'll see you next time right here on Tech Chop. Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here.